everybody. I'm here today to talk about uh, the new Soraya Tenacious resin, and it is it is called black, but it's really like a deep, deep, deep purple. I don't know if you can see there. You'll see in the photos. And interestingly enough, when I first started testing, I didn't realize. I think this is this resin is meant to be mixed with other resins and or it's meant to be printed in, in a, like a bigger piece, not something small like a miniature. So when I first started running tests, I was running, I knew it was gonna take no, probably a little longer to cure, given that's an engineering resin, it's supposed to be you know, flexible and all this stuff. So I, instead of uh, using three seconds at 0.04 millimeter layer height, I normally use three seconds with something like a Epax Hard Gray, I went, I started, I think 3.6 and my print failed and everything was really soft. So I then went up to, I think it was like 4.4. The print still failed and everything was still soft. And I was like, man, this, this resin sucks. Then I went up to five seconds before it printed. And I threw the print out afterwards because it kind of felt soft and gooey even after I cured it. So I was like, what's going on here? But I did save, I, 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 fished out of the garbage actually afterwards the shield and what you can see is although it printed fine like details are actually pretty good look at the texture i can just and this is this is cured i can just like look at it i can just reshape it any way i want basically you know look i can just flex it bend it and so i was like I don't want this resin for my miniatures. And then I realized, you know what? I'm doing this wrong. I, I should be doing what I used to do with the old Tenacious, which is mix it with my other resins. So forgive that I'm just getting goofy with this resin. You can see the flex it has though, at least, because this is this was at five seconds, um, five second exposure for a 0.04 millimeter layer height. And it's just, it's like bubble gum almost. Like <laughs> I can just bend it any which way. And then if I straighten it out though, it actually goes back to its normal shape. It actually looks okay, which is really weird. Um, what I haven't done is, let me see what it takes to actually break this this resin, if I can. No, it's, it's, this thing's like a gummy bear right now. I can't, it won't even break. Okay. So, what did I do? I went and mixed, and I, I have the bottom of these marked, um, about 20% of this flexible gooey stuff with my beloved Epax Hard Gray. And I could have used, I, I also love Soraya Navy Gray, but if, I figured instead of mixing Soraya with Soraya, let me mix Soraya with the, the Epax Hard Gray and see what I get. And then I did it uh, with a little more of the Epax Hard Gray. This is only about 10 to 15% of the Tenacious. This is more like 20 to 25%. So. Uh, you can see in the pictures, ah, damn, these things keep falling out. You can see in the pictures that the print detail was great. I mean, print it, even with this stuff mixed in, it printed just as well as the Epax Hard Gray. Like you can really see, hopefully, I haven't looked at the picture I took yet. Hopefully it really came out where you can see like the runes on the, on the beard dangles, or I don't know what you call those, uh, holding his, his beard braids together, has really small runes and you can see them clearly uh, the runes in the pipe are like very clear i mean just all the detail is just just clear as day on this thing so let's do some to let's 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 break this guy sad as it makes me uh, now you watch if you watch any of my resin reviews you know wherever i glue stuff with my loctite gel holds great but it does get a little weaker there. So I, I, I still hold that it does something it affects the, the chemical composition of the plastic somehow makes it brittle. Cause whenever I do brake tests, if you watch my resin tests, you know, wherever I glue stuff, which this hand and hammer is glued on and the shield that always breaks first. So fully expecting the hammer to come flying off uh, when I drop it. Let's start with some low level drops. I mean, this really printed though detail, adding this in didn't affect the detail. Hopefully it affected the strength. Whoops, I just pressed the shield off. I guess I hadn't glued it in that well. Oh, okay, I didn't, I didn't, glue's still not really dry. I glued it too recently. Now, the difference between this shield and this shield, right, is this one is the bubblegum shield. Let's see what happens with this one. 
So it's actually flexing a little bit here. It's a lot less flexible than this. Obviously this I can just bend, it stays kind of bent and then slowly flexes back. This is, oh, there we go. I did it too hard. Okay, that was actually tough to break though. And this is flexing before it breaks. It had not, not a huge degree of flex, but some serious flex with strength before I, before I can break it. So that's a good sign. So anyway, let's toss this guy. And okay, hammer, hammer we knew was coming. And interestingly, the hammer was, is, you know, a little bit thin. It actually broke, not where I glued it, it actually just broke the handle of the hammer just because the hammer head is heavy and, and then the shaft is not that thick. So let's see, let's see what it takes to really break this guy down. Okay. Okay. That time the hand that was glued did break off. So again, where the glue is, that's what breaks it. If anything's, you know, I'm, I'm interested these wings on the helmet are pretty thin and see when I, they have some flex to them though, but it's like a firm flex. If that makes any sense, it feels like kind of strong. Let's give them some tosses. Let's toss them onto those. Okay, and on that higher toss, that was about, that's about three feet. And that landed directly on the wing and that did break, which makes sense. That is pretty thin. Survived a little longer than I thought it would. Now let's, let's toss right onto the wings. This one's holding up great somehow. I don't know. I'm throwing it right on there. Okay, let's let's go off the ceiling hard this time. Pretty good. I didn't hear it happen, but he came back with the other helmet wing broken off. Let's see what it takes to break his legs. Holy crap. Okay. That actually, I don't think it's happening. Let me see if I can, the pipe arm looks a little thinner. Let me see if I can break that instead. Oh. For a second i'm not sure i can break any of the thicker parts this is too strong this is way stronger oh god okay let me take something skinny that i can break easy ah that that actually i think i damaged my hands uh, let's see how this thin piece so it's got a little flex before considering it's strong it's flexing before it breaks even on that really thin part which is good i i like this for the for the brake test i'm gonna take that piece of that shield because that's pretty thin but not too thin I hate to break another model, but let me first just pull off his hand. Now this, this, this model is a little bit less of the uh, tenacious mixed in there. Very good. That was, that was like a decent amount of flex on that thin piece before it, uh, before it broke. Let me pull off the shield. Okay. So this one, let's see how this, see that. If you can see, there's there's only two thin, thin parts holding it on effectively right there, and that's that's giving good flex before before I can break it, and I have to break it at the weakest point. I don't know. Let's see if I can. It's 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 strong, but it's also bending. So this this tenacious, I, I like this mix. It didn't seem to decrease. Uh, you look at the picture; it didn't seem to decrease a print accuracy really 
at all. Whereas I think when I when I used to do the other Tenacious, the older Tenacious into my mixes, I felt like it affected the print quality a little more. Maybe I should test that one again too. This one seems to be printing just every bit as good as the Epax Hard on its own, but it definitely less brittle than the Epax Hard with this mixed in. So like, look at these wings. So you can see I'm giving them like a pretty good flex there without them breaking, even though they're thin. I don't know if you can see, I'll do it from this side, see if you can see. I can bend them till they touch and they're just going right back into place. So mixing in this Tenacious, I think this is the way to go for minis. I had done a video about mixing Tenacious in way back when, and honestly, I, I ran out of it, hadn't bought more for a while. Um, and then this new Tenacious Black came out. I just wanted to see what it was all about. And again, tenacious, the black on its own, like, you see, you see what it can do. I can just do anything with it and then basically just straighten it back out. It's going, actually going back to shape. But you don't want to do this for your minis. It's, it's a little too gooey. But mixing it with this Epax Hard is, is fantastic so far. And I, 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 I'm going to try again, even though it hurts my fingers to try to break this pipe. Mother, oh God. Okay, so I'm not doing that. Uh, let me break the easy things again. So if I if I do the wing the other way, it should break pretty easy because I've been flexing it. Um, let me bend it the way I've been bending it and see what happens. So if I bend it the direction, the, only in the same direction it's been bent, I almost can fold it around the head before it actually breaks. And then the rest of it, this is like chunky parts. I don't think I can break this part. Let me see. So neither of those broke, and those were, those were some pretty vicious tosses. Let, let me go get this guy. So if you have a mini that's a little thicker, like most parts of this guy are decently thick, except for those helmet wings and, and the, uh, the hammer, I'm going to throw this guy basically as hard as I can at the table and see what happens. N nothing, nothing else broke there. So that's it for my review i would say again when you're if you have minis that you if you're one of those people that you your friends your kids your your gaming group your dog your cat your chicken whatever you have uh knocks your minis over knocks them off the table i do think you should add in you know 20 percent tenacious either the older one or this new i like this new one better I, i'm sure i mean the print quality is incredible even mixed in at 20 percent and again you see it on its own is like super flexible and strong. I mean, this is crazy what I'm doing to this shield and I've been doing this a lot and it's still nothing, it won't break. And I can still get it back to shape, you know, pretty easily. So I assume if you have printed a big part, like an engineering part out of this stuff, it might be almost indestructible. And I'm sure it wouldn't be gooey if it's big and solid, I'm sure it'd be work pretty well. So anyway, this is actually a pretty impressive resin uh, for my purposes, for, for people like me, and most of you watching my channel are probably like me, you're doing miniatures, um, you mix in 20% of this, of this new Tenacious, and I think your miniatures are going to survive a lot better uh, than before. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, please check out my other reviews, uh, videos. we got a lot more videos coming. Thanks, and happy 3D printing.